ladies and gentlemen, in a rare bright spot for 2020, the M1 solar flare that just happened today and peaked at 724 UTC is the very first M-class flare of a sunspot region that belongs to Solar Cycle 25 and the first M-class flare in 925 days. The flare took place at the east limb from the Earth's point of view and produced a nice coronal wave. And oh baby, that is exciting. And it is exciting because empires seem to rise and fall on solar maximums and solar minimums. And so yes, we have been in a deep solar minimum, but this is a sign that the sun is starting to wake up. So better days are ahead, my friend. And that is something to celebrate. This is turning around to be eventually earth facing and it looks like it may have a good chance of being an actual sunspot, which means we could see larger flares from it. When the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people lose their minds kind of. And so, things have been strange, the sun has been strange, but thank God I'm alive, you're alive, and there are signs that we have better days ahead. Though I'd stay on defense for 2020. And did you see that black box? The classic NASA black box is starting to show back up too. Right about there. And it has been my opinion at Thor News for over seven years that the sun is a total mystery. And we don't really know much about the sun and that there are technically no solar experts out there. So everybody can make their educated guesses. And I said we would see the sun start to come roaring back in July. And like 90% of the truth community guessed we were going to be in a grand solar minimum. Uh, so we were going to have super low solar activity for years. And that would suck because that would just be like plague and fighting and empires and countries falling and just a bunch of crappy crap. And I think we've all had enough crappy crap, man. But look at this solar outflow as it's pumping the energy out can you feel it baby it's true it's impressive and when will we get our first x-class flare that is a good question i said to myself how are you doing today and what are you wearing all right i gotta keep it all super sciencey there it is and then here it comes she's beautiful Yes, and we all get more energy during solar maximums. That's great. The European Space Agency is letting us know our first big flare. Maybe solar minimum, but solar activity is ramping up with an M1 flare. Just look, Proba 1 Lira data for ESA Rob. And there was a C9.3 also, soon to be seen in Lira. Keep an eye on this region as it is about to rotate on disk. That's what she said. Bob Lemon. Letting us know how much is F10.7 going to jump once this AR comes around the limb. Anyone with the prediction model for I, a grand solar minimum, or two I's, an extended minimum and maximum, not until 2025, might want to recalibrate their senses. So yeah, dude, and you know, that's fine, guys. We all make mistakes. We all... Make educated guesses that come out wrong. The universe, Mother Nature, and especially the sun can surprise us all. And so this is very exciting news. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for good times to return. I am so ready to get to the roaring 20s. If you like pina coladas, man, when the sun gets going, which will take a while, it gets really interesting and really fun. So are you in the mood for fun? Then, it wouldn't hurt to root for Solar Maximum. That's what I've been doing. I remember we got our first Cycle 25 sunspots right around Christmas. And that made me happy. And that means my super edited videos should be returning soon. Way more than normal in the last few years.
so whatever. Solar flare activity intensifies. For the first time in more than a year, the sun is really flaring. Both, we had an M-Class 1 and a C-9. Both came from a likely sunspot hiding just behind the sun's northeastern limb. This image from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory shows material thrown up from one of its blasts. Oh, baby. I love that coronal mass ejection. Although, I don't know if that's seeing me. I guess it is. So far, the explosions have not much affected Earth. The underlying sunspot is facing away from our planet. However, that could change soon. Solar rotation will bring the sunspot over the limb within the next 24 to 48 hours. Future flares could be geo-effective. Technically, we don't know for sure that the active region is a sunspot. I would guess yes. The underlying dark cores have not yet been sighted. Confirmation awaits better viewing geometry. Probably tomorrow, so stay tuned. And with Jupiter and Saturn aligning in our sky before our own eyes, December 21st, 2020 it is going to be quite a year it's a big solar system with a lot of mystery and unknowns and mercury is a highly underrated awesome planet so if you happen to see mercury say hello and tell him he's awesome because he is this is a look at the sun and venus from three days ago interesting who doesn't love a plasma beam baby yeah like solar gremlins starting to do their dance all right i am your planetary defense commander and if you'd like to support my science or my work then have i got good news for you i do a fundraiser every single month so i can keep the news up and running and we're in one of those right now i got an address you can send snail mail to and i love snail mail anytime i get good mail in them it puts a smile on my face i got a paypal link a venmo a cash app, a Patron, and this fundraiser is for hurricane season June 2020. I've got $1,400, $1,456 left of my goal um, in six days left. And I got to say thank you very, very, very much to Jenny, Mitch, David, the Shermanator, Paula, Freddie. Is it, is it, is it, oh, man. Jose, Super Jess, C. Siri and a mystery super chat person if you'd like to contribute man i appreciate it and i will be working my butt off not only in june but through all hurricane season and the start of solar maximum to bring you the best all right you guys are great i love you astro fight club may y'all have a great day and keep your eyes in the skies and pay attention to the signs in the heavens because you are someone who can deduce things in this universe. Well, I wanted that sentence to be cooler, but it didn't work out like that. God bless everyone. Peace out.